What's going on, fellas? It's that time of the month again, and not that time of the month, but it's time to go over everything I bought for the channel in the last month or so for the month of July. Now, if you're returning to this style of video, I greatly appreciate it. I know how much you guys like the monthly recaps, and I really appreciate your engagement and thoughts and conversations in the comments, so please do keep that up. And if you're new to this style of video, then this is really the place where I go over everything I bought in the last month, and it's honestly kind of a sneak peek of the items that I bought so far and I'm yet to make a video for. So it's kind of cool. And I go a bit deeper into all the items and really my thought process behind buying them as well. So with all that laid out, let's get into the July wrap up. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go with probably my most classic item that I picked up this month, and it's gonna be the Chuck Taylor 70 high black version. I have had Chucks a bunch in the past, but I've never gone with the high top Chuck, and I just maybe felt like it wasn't quite my style, and I've honestly, over the years, just really come to love high tops, and Chucks are honestly something that is never, ever gonna go out of style. Now, something that's actually pretty funny that I honestly just realized, and I don't know, this might make me sound stupid, but I didn't realize there was much of a difference between the Chuck All-Star and the Chuck 70s. And the difference there is a Chuck 70 is much higher in quality in terms of the sole is a little bit thicker. And what comes with that is more padding, which is a huge benefit. So they are way more comfortable. The stitching is a little bit different and a lot more high quality. And I think the fabric itself as well is also thicker too. And like I said, the sole is a bit different. So it's thicker visibly to the eye. And then on top of that, it is more of a cream color instead of white. And I really do actually love that cream color look. And lastly, not a big detail, but the patch itself is not really like printed on there. It's more stitched on. So it's actually 3D and more of a physical patch, which is just a nice little touch. So overall, there are actually quite a few differences between the Chuck Taylor 70s and Chuck All-Stars and I have both obviously but honestly I would recommend going with the Chuck 70s just because I'm really impressed with the quality like right when I put them on I could just immediately feel the difference in terms of comfort and I think that's always been my biggest gripe with Chucks is that they're pretty uncomfortable but I really do like the look of them and they are so timeless you can wear them in so many settings so I think it's worth the extra 30 bucks now these two typically run I believe between like 90 or 95 dollars but I got these for 65 dollars on sale from PacSun so that's the regular cost of the All-Stars, and I went in to actually exchange them for a lower size, and the guy was shocked that they were only 65 bucks. He couldn't believe it. Another tip there too with the sizing is definitely size down. I usually wear a 10 US, and I went with a nine with these, and honestly, I could even go down to an eight and a half, but unfortunately, they didn't have them in store. So I would recommend doing at least a size or a size and a half down to really get the perfect size for you. So that's the only shoe that I bought this month. It's the only shoe that I could afford to buy, but at least I got it at a good deal. So in that sense, it feels a little bit like a steal. Now the next piece to this is actually a few pairs of socks. And I went over to Uniqlo and got a four pair and they were only like 16 bucks, but unfortunately the shipping was another nine on top of it. So it was 25 bucks for these four pairs of socks, but I saw other YouTubers buying them and I knew it would just be a really great way to enhance my overall style, especially when it comes to wearing the chucks and other simple shoes where I really wanna work in a little bit more color or just a little bit more styling as well. So as you can see here, I, like I said, I went with the four pack, I went with a navy pair, a beige pair. They ran out of cream, which really sucked. Uh, I, the cream is just an all time look, obviously, and with the chucks would have been perfect, but beige is good enough and a nice deep green color, which this is like actually probably one of my favorite colors. And I got something really close to this that I will talk about later on in the video as well. And then just a nice gray sock as well. And this actually matches this shirt quite well. So I think I'm gonna be wearing these socks quite a lot and it's just kind of nice to have a plain colored sock, high sock at that, that you can add a little bit of styling in with your different pieces, especially in the summertime. I just find it very difficult to, if you're not layering and you wanna keep it really simple with just a nice simple tee and simple shorts, then where else are you really gonna get a lot of that pop in your outfit? So I thought maybe going with some fun socks would be a good option. Okay, and another accessory that I went with is this nice 47 hat. It is a Yankees hat and honestly, I played baseball growing up. I'm more of a Cubs fan, but when it comes to ball caps, like the Yankees and the LA Dodgers just have the cleanest logos. Like this is all time and timeless. And I don't know, I'm just not, I don't really care all that much. It's more for the aesthetic, right? So some of my friends that know me really well have given me a hard time, but I don't really care. It's all about the aesthetic. And I really do love this color green. We went to a Yankees game recently here. We live in downtown Denver, so went to a Rockies game. Unfortunately, the Rockies aren't good at all, but nonetheless, it was fun. And this really was a great pickup because I'm gonna be able to wear this with so many more outfits. 
I like green because honestly, like I like to stick to my neutral colors. If you follow any of my other monthly recaps, you know, usually it's like, I'm always talking about all these beige colors I get um, and stick to black and certainly did that in this video as well. But green is also my favorite color, especially this more like moss or deep green. And I think it just looks so, so good. And you can wear it with a lot of different items as well. It's not, it's more of a muted green, so it doesn't pop too much. So anyway, if you are interested in getting a hat, I would highly, highly recommend going to 47. And they even do have non-logo hats so you can get a plain ball cap. For me, I think 47 just has fit me more better than any other hat. So I can confidently say that 47 is probably my favorite brand to go to for hats. Okay, now I have a confession to make. I'm honestly not the biggest denim guy, but that is definitely changing since I found a few things that really fit me well and fit my style really well too. So a couple of pieces that I got were both from Zara actually, and if you don't shop at Zara, then I would definitely recommend doing it. The quality can be iffy on some things, but when it comes to denim, I feel like you really don't have to worry about quality all that much. It's pretty much the same in my eyes. So I would recommend going there and they have some really awesome pieces. And denim is tough, especially when it comes to jeans, just some things fit you well and some things don't. And me, I have really big thighs, so it's tough to find a nice slim-ish jean that just isn't way too much around the thighs in terms of it looking super tight. So anyway, last monthly recap, I talked about the Zara cropped slim jean, the Zara cropped slim tapered jean. Anyway, it, it was amazing. I picked it up last month when I was in Italy and I absolutely loved it. It shows off the ankle, which for me personally, I just really like. I think it gives off a more, I don't wanna say sporty vibe, but it's just one little touch on the outfit, I think it looks so good and you can either show off ankles or I know it looks really good with a high top and that's obviously why I got these chucks as well. So anyway, I just went with a nice black wash jean and I think they look so, so good. I wear a 31 waist and I may have gone down to a 30, but I liked just a little bit of room in there. I still don't need to wear a belt with these. So I think they fit perfectly and I was super happy with them. So it's just a great item and I'm gonna be wearing them a ton. And I got these jeans for $45 US. So as far as jeans go, I feel like they're pretty affordable. Now the next item I went with again is a black denim material but it's a jacket and I think this looks really really great. I actually surprisingly haven't had anything like this in my closet and I've just been looking for more and more over shirts and I was kind of skeptical to get a denim jacket but I think it being black it doesn't even look like denim or in my mind kind of what I think of when I hear denim as a term. So it just looks a little bit different. And again, like I said, I don't think you have to worry about quality as much when it comes to denim pieces. But again, this item was $50 and I got it from Zara, but I think it just looks great. And I'm gonna be wearing it so, so much as an overshirt. And it's not too thick or too thin, so I know I can kind of get away with wearing it in those in-between months when it's not too hot or too cold. So I'm excited to show off this piece and I know it can just really go with everything. Okay, that was a close one. I literally ended the video and then almost forgot to include one of my favorite items that I got this month, which is pretty funny. And I'm actually wearing it right now. And I've mentioned it in previous videos and even monthly recaps, I believe as well. And that is the Abercrombie Vintage Inspired Tee. So I'm wearing it right here, as you can see, and I got it in two different colors. So I got it in like a light wash brown color. And then I got a cream color as well, which like I said, is gonna match perfectly with the Chuck Taylor High 70s with the cream sole and then the black denim cropped jeans. It's, it's gonna be a fantastic outfit. I cannot wait to show it off on some more videos. And I love this oversized tee because it just has a really unique look to it. It's extremely, extremely soft and I'm just really into baggy tees right now. I think it looks so, so good. So I've mentioned it on other videos and these usually go for $29, but Abercrombie was having a sale recently for 20% off. And then, you know, your boy's always scheming on deals. And I found another TikTok code to get another 20% off of that. So I got these for like 18 bucks, I believe each, which for this shirt is just insane. Like it's super high quality, so comfortable, looks so good. Uh, and I get comments on it all the time. So this is now my third version or third colorway of this specific shirt. And if you haven't gotten it already, I would definitely recommend it because it's honestly probably one of my favorite pieces right now. And I think they look so good. All the different colorways I think just are fantastic and really mix into all of my outfits. Go ahead and watch the playlist that I will add at the end of this video right here, and it'll be somewhere right here, and you can go ahead and check that out if you have not seen those other monthly recaps in the past. So with all of that laid out, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on next week's video.